Hello, hello, hello. I believe we are live and in living color. My name is Alston Godbolt, and today we are going to talk about how to create a Facebook page for Amazon affiliate marketing. Now, I'm sure the first thing you're going to say is Amazon affiliate marketing is dead. I disagree, uh, and that's something that we could probably argue about for hours and hours on end. But in this video, I want to show you step by step how you can uh, start making passive income with a Facebook page, which is 100% free, and Amazon Associates, which is again 100% free. Before we get going, I do want to go over some housekeeping items here. First of all, uh, welcome to my channel. As I mentioned, my name is Alston Godbolt, and I create content to help you start generating passive income in just one hour per day. So if that is something that you're interested in, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification because I normally upload videos Monday through Friday. I missed on Wednesdays so I'm making it up on Saturday. Also, a couple other items that I want to cover. If I jump back over here to this PowerPoint slide, and I guarantee you this whole thing won't be a PowerPoint, but I do have a free ebook in the description. If you go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash free hyphen ebook, it is a guide to affiliate marketing. And the great thing about this ebook is it's actually a Google Doc. And so as I add more content, for example, if I want to add the best uh, the best affiliate networks for beginners. That's all going to be updated and you'll have access to that 100% for free. So go ahead and click the link in the description and, and take advantage of that. Also, I have started a podcast and the podcast is actually over on my website, alstongodbolt.com. Now the podcast is going to be a little bit more, um, more I a little bit more intimate, we'll say, a little bit more about me, a little bit more about the background, and my pursuit of happiness, we'll say, as a dad and as an entrepreneur. So if you're interested in that, I want you to head on over to alstongodbolt.com, and you'll see the opportunity to join and follow the podcast. All right, so enough of the plugging. Let's go ahead and get started. You want to start making money with Amazon affiliate marketing, or you're here to argue with me. Either one is fine. What I want to show you is step-by-step -step how to get started with affiliate marketing marketing on Amazon. We're going to create a, a Facebook page, which takes like five minutes. I'm going to show you how to start getting traffic. I'm going to show you what type of content you can upload. I'm going to show you where to find content for free and how you can upload it. I'm actually going to show you how to make your own content. And also I'm going to show you how to uh, find products to promote. Now, one thing that I want you to remember is the 80-20 rule when it comes to Facebook. Now, Facebook in general hates when people ask their members or their users to leave their to leave Facebook to leave their website as such if you put an affiliate link in Facebook it is probably going to be suppressed by the algorithms and so the way around that is to do an 80 20 rule 80 percent value 20 percent selling and so what we're going to do throughout this video is we're going to do that we're going to provide valuable content and uh, two out of every 10 posts is going to be out to an affiliate link. Now, you may think that's not going to get you money, but the way that we do this, if we go in and we add valuable content, we are going to start getting traffic and we are going to start making sales. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to jump over to Facebook. I have a few Facebook pages myself. This is my Facebook personal page. And the first thing you need to do on the left-hand side is go over to pages. And when you go over to pages in the top right-hand corner, it's going to say create page. So I'm just going to click on create page. And right here gives you the option between business or community public figure. It doesn't really matter. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click on business or brand. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Uh, some people may argue about that. But for my purposes, for our purposes, it doesn't really matter. What we're going to name this, uh, we're going to name this page, uh, let's say, we'll call it must love doggies. We'll call it doggy dogs but must love dogs we'll say must love doggy if i can spell this correctly uh so we'll delete that here must love dog and then it says category uh we can say pet see pet store pet supplies pet provider um again this doesn't really matter for what we're doing we could do pet service whatever it may be or you can do community public figure. If we take a look at that, we click on get started. Again, we're gonna call this must love a doggy. And again, for pet category, if we type in pet, you can see pet supplies, pet cemetery, petting zoo. We might just put this as hobby um, for now. And again, it doesn't really matter because the content is going to be picked up and spread around based on the, the algorithm. So we're just gonna click on continue. Whoa, let's see. 
not correct. Let's see if we can find one again. Let's see. We'll do pets. Um, why don't we just leave it at personal blog for now? Leave it at personal blog. We'll click continue. And this is just going to set up our page. While the page is setting up, let's go ahead and talk about different content. We're going to skip all of the adding the profile picture, but the profile picture can be a good opportunity to get people to your landing page. Now, if you look at my my Alston Godbolt business page, this is exactly what I've done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back over to Facebook and I'm just going to show you, I'm going to show you this right here in a new link. Now, what I've done is I've created a cover photo that looks almost like a landing page. Now, eventually we'll get here. As you can see right in the middle of your screen, it says, I help people launch a successful online business. Click here to learn more. And when they click this here, it will open up eventually. My computer is incredibly slow today. As you can see, it will open up the image again, but then there's a URL. And then I add a call to action here. It says, I will help you launch a successful online business. Click the link below to learn more. And this actually goes to a landing page or a bridge page where I talk a little bit about some of the opportunities that you have. Now note, one thing that I want you to note, Facebook absolutely disdains affiliate marketers and people that are talking about make money online or business opportunity. If you are thinking about going into that niche, don't do it on Facebook. The reason being is your content will be suppressed by the algorithm and you will have a much more difficult time than if you do something like dogs or if you do something like, you know, really just about anything else. But for now, we're just going to skip this and we're going to skip this step as well. So we'll just skip that. And here we have a blank canvas. Now at this point, I'm sure you're wondering what type of content can you put? There is a ton of content that you can add to this account to start getting traffic. And there's a number of ways to do it. So I'm just going to close this here. Uh, you can invite people to get likes. That's, you know, kind of low hanging fruit and not really important for what we're doing. But what we want to do is we want to go out and find different pieces of content that will resonate or, or, or um, will be relevant to our, our target audience. So our target audience are dog, dog lovers. We know dog owners, dog lovers are very passionate about their pets. And there's a number of different places that you can go to get that information. One place that you can go to get content is right in Facebook. So if we go, we'll type in dog. Let's type in pup, puppy. We'll type in puppy and we hit enter. Then we're going to jump over to photos. And at this point, we could go through and we could download these photos, these public photos here, we can download. What you can do is you can add credit. So for example, let's click on this one right here and we could right click and we can save this image as, and then in our post, we can just credit puppy happiness for the image. So I'm just going to save image as, and okay, so it's a, it's going to save to my downloads. I'm going to jump back over to my doggy photo and I'm just going to click photos here and jump over to my downloads folder click that that is the one we just downloaded and what i want to do is i want to credit these people uh just to, so that in the event they come across their photo they don't really have a they don't have a gripe in reality uh facebook is a public space so if you just credit facebook because once you upload something to facebook it becomes property of facebook but if you just go the extra step and just credit um credit these people there shouldn't be any issue now you may get someone that is um someone that's kind of a stickler kind of finicky about their their stuff you might have to take it down but so we're just going to do credit puppy happiness um and then we can just post it what you can do the great thing with facebook is you can schedule these posts out and so if you have, let's say, an hour or two on a Sunday, you can go through and schedule two or three posts per day for the next week or so. So we're just going to click on post, and our first post is there. Uh, we might even want to add a call to action. We might want to say something like, if we refresh the screen here, uh, we'll be able to see our first post. We may want to go back and say, isn't this doggy cute? Isn't this dog cute? Um, like, if you think this this puppy needs to be adopted like if you think this puppy is cute something along, along those lines as you can see this is our our first first post here um add a little bit of a call to action if you can get people to like and comment it's going to help push your content out even further so that's just one way you can go over to uh you can go over to 
these photos here and you can kind of swipe them. Um, another way that you can start getting traffic is you can go over to, uh, you can find groups that are talking about puppies. You can join every one of these groups. What I would do is join a public group and you can invite people to like your page. Say, hey, look, I just started my new page. If you want to join my page, let me know. If you want to like it, I'd appreciate it. I'll be uploading content every few days with the best pictures I can find of puppies or uh, German Shepherds, whatever it is. And so people, if you do this the right way, if you go in and you don't just spam your link, you kind of explain what you're doing and what you're looking for, people will check you out and some will actually like your your Facebook page and that'll help you get more traction. Facebook will see the types of people that like your page and they will, um, they will send your page out to people uh, they're called lookalike audiences, people that look like the people that already like your, your content. So that's another way. You can use photos, you can use groups. Um, another thing that you can do is you can actually go to a website called Pixels. Um, I use Pixels if I wanna find stock videos. And to do that, I'm just gonna type in puppy. And as you can see, if I click puppy, there will be a, hopefully, there will be a ton of videos. So there's 20 videos here that you can download and then re-upload 100% for free. They're royalty free. You don't have to worry about it at all. Now I recommend, I prefer, uploading video the reason why i upload or recommend uploading video is because every social media platform is pushing video they know that video gets more engagement it keeps people on their website longer and so you if you can find video upload video another good place believe it or not is on tiktok if you jumped over to tiktok right now and i'm just going to type in tiktok here uh, you can use TikTok from your desktop. So if I jump over to TikTok and I discover or do a search for puppies, uh, so if I click on watch now, come on, come on, come on. If I click on watch now, I can do discover. And then I can type in doggy or puppy or whatever it may be. And then I can download these videos and then re-upload them right into our Facebook page. So believe it or not, there are a number of different ways that you can get traffic. Pixels is a good way for video i recommend if you're doing puppy you can do this with anything but i just like the puppy niche because i know how fanatical puppy people are about pets um you, you can do it that way another thing that you can do is you can go out to google and you can find articles about your niche so if, again we're looking at puppies and we can say we can type in puppy training all right, and this will this will return a number of different blog posts or can return a number of different blog posts about training your puppy. Now, what I would recommend that you do is go through, find an article that's relevant and post a piece of that article, maybe the first sentence or two, the first maybe paragraph or two, post that into your Facebook page and then say, click the link here to learn more about or click here to learn the rest of the trip, the tips. So that way the, the place that you've grabbed the content from still gets credit. They'll actually get a quality backlink and that'll help them later on when it comes to search engine optimization and ranking and all that stuff. So another tip, as I mentioned, is finding relevant blog posts, putting the first paragraph or two, or even rephrasing the, the, the first paragraph or two and say, if you want to learn more, click the link here to learn, you know, five tips and tricks to train your puppy in three days or whatever it may be. So we have talked about uh, finding photos or images and video on your Facebook itself. We've talked about going into Facebook groups and kind of stealing people that way. Uh, we have talked about pixels, finding video, and you can even do images as well. Another place that you can go to to find images is a website called Unsplash. Unsplash is a royalty-free website that you can find images. So we just, again, we're going to type in puppy. And in fact, you will probably find a lot of these same pictures in multiple places. So we typed in puppy. We have a ton of puppies that we can save to our computer and just upload. Um, and you can do this over and over and over again. What you could do if you want to take it up a notch, if you want to you want to step your game up, we could, let's say we'll download this video, or excuse me, we'll download this puppy right here. It has downloaded, and you can jump over to a website called Canva, and you can create your own images. So here at canva.com, it's 100% free. We're just going to type in Facebook, and it should give us an option, Facebook ad, Facebook ad, cover, event, post. So we're looking for Facebook post. 
And now that we have Facebook posts, we're just going to click on blank. And hopefully you're able to see that. If you're having problems seeing my screen, certainly let me know. All right, so here I have a Facebook. Uh, I'm going to create a Facebook post on Canva 100% for free. I'm just going to try and slide this over just a little bit so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm just going to jump back over to the image that we downloaded. And hopefully this works faster than normal. So I'm just going to drop... Uh, drag and drop this right into Canva. And what we can do, we can add maybe a, a, a black or dark gray background. We can actually increase the size of this as well if we wanted to. Um, so give me a second here. If we wanted to, we can actually increase the size to that, we'll say. And then we can add a little call to action. And what I'm just going to do here is I'm going to say, um, we'll say like for more cute photos. And so I'm just going to drag this up here. And again, anybody can do this. This doesn't really take a lot of effort and a lot of skill, but you can yield high results just doing this over and over and over again. And now that you have a bunch of time, most of us have a lot more time on our hands, we can go through and we can schedule this out. If you just take, like I said, an hour a week, you can schedule out maybe 21 posts for the entire week, and then you just rinse and repeat. You do it over and over and over again. And so I'm just going to change that, change the font here. And again, all of this is 100% for free. And I wanna shrink the size so that it all fits on one page. So that's a 60. Let's go down to 56, and as you can see, it is all on one page. We're just going to move that down a little bit, and if we wanted to, we could get even more cute, and we could actually change the color of this background here. Why don't we do that, in fact? So I'm just going to go, going to, go to Elements, and I'm going to go to Grids, and as you can see, I have this grid here. Let's change this to, let's change this to maybe that color, and we're going to put this all the way backwards, and as you can see here, while that doesn't look great, this gives us an idea of what we can do. Now, once we've done that, we just simply go up to, you can actually publish this directly to Facebook, but what I prefer to do is actually just kind of download this to my hard drive and then I can upload it when I want to. So these are all ways that you can start creating content for free with Canva. So let's review real quick, just so that I, I wanna make sure that if you're jumping on late, you have all of the information. One way to get traffic or one way to, to find images to use, go to Facebook, search your niche idea for this example. I'm talking about puppies. You can click on photo. You can download those photos. I would credit whoever uploaded the photo. You don't necessarily have to, but you can do that. Another place you can get traffic is go to Facebook groups and say, hey, I just started this Facebook page that's all about German Shepherds or whatever you're talking about. I would appreciate it if you jumped over and liked it. Any like will help me in the algorithm. Just be very respectful and don't spam your link. Uh, if you want to get videos, and I recommend starting off with videos, jump over to a website called Pixels and you can start getting videos. You can also use it, do the same thing with Instagram. Download pictures that way if you wanted to. Uh, another place to get videos is actually over on TikTok. There are a ton of pet pictures on TikTok. Unfortunately, it doesn't allow me to type in puppy or else I would show you the insane amount of puppy pictures that people are uploading. Cars that go boom, there's some puppies right there. Um, the insane amount of, of, of pictures that people are uploading, videos that people are uploading of their pets. And so what you would do is you would just download that to your computer and then upload it. And then I would just say credit TikTok because they're the owner of the content once it's uploaded. So after TikTok, we talked about Unsplash. Unsplash, you can again type in your niche idea and you can download these. If you want to step up your game, if you want to take it to another level, you can upload the video into Canva. Canva is 100% free. And then you can add a call to action, like for more cute photos. People will do it. You will start to grow. Uh, let's see. We talked about Canva. We talked about pixels. Um, now let's go ahead and talk about monetization. How are we going to make money from this? We have content ideas. We can create a ton of, ton of content relatively easy. Let's go ahead and think about how we're going to monetize it. Now with Amazon, you have to go to a website called affiliate-program.amazon.com, better known as Amazon Associates. It is the affiliate 
branch or the affiliate network for Amazon.com. What you'll need to do is you'll go ahead and you'll you'll click on uh, join now for free. It's 100% for free. And that's where you're going to get your affiliate links. Once you join this, the first thing that I recommend that you download is something called SiteStripe. And I'm going to try and increase the screen, screen so that you can see what I'm talking about. But SiteStripe, easy for me to say, and I just moved it over so that you can see it, gives you the ability to upload your, to grab your affiliate links right from Amazon.com. If I'm being 100% honest with you, the affiliate branch of Amazon is a little bit cumbersome. It's much easier to find products and services within Amazon and then add them to your Facebook page. So let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to find different products to promote. What we're going to do simply is just go up to best sellers. We're going to click best sellers and this is going to give us a list of everything that's hot right now. Uh, we can use this to find different products to promote. As you can see down here, we have pet supplies if we wanted to go that route. Uh, patio, lawn, and garden might, might be another opportunity. So if we just click on pet supplies, this is obviously going to take us to another niche down area. If we type in dogs, it's going to give us pet supplies for dogs. Uh, this may not be what we're looking for at this point. We may be looking for leashes and doggy treats and doggy beds, dog furniture. Those are the type of things that dog people buy for their dogs, for their pets. And because it's a relatively low amount, it's almost like an impulse buy where people have no problem purchasing this type of product for their pet. So I'm just going to go back up to best sellers here. And I believe it's under, I believe it's under um, patio lawn and garden. But what we're looking for is we're looking for the products that are selling like gangbusters within Amazon because we know that the, these products are going to sell. They basically sell themselves. People are familiar with them. Uh, people are comfortable with them. And so you just put a link. And here's a, a key. One very, very important thing when it comes to Amazon. You cannot use the images from Amazon to promote products on Amazon. So what I mean by that is on the screen here, you see this uh, tarot liquid ant baits. You can't use this image to promote products and services on Amazon. If they find out you're doing it and somehow they know everything, you will get banned. What you can do, and I'll show you here if I can find a product to promote, uh, what you can do is you can actually grab an affiliate link. You can grab an affiliate link with images. There are a few different ways that you can do it. You can also find similar images that are around the internet. Uh, for example, if you go over to maybe the manufacturer's website, you can use that image, but you can't use the images that are on Amazon. So let me see if we can find, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. For whatever reason, I am not having a good idea of finding what I'm looking for. Anyway, so let's just go back to pet supplies because I know what's already in there. I'm just going to click on pet supply and I'm going to click on dogs. And if you, if this is making sense, guys, I want you to comment that this makes sense. Um, okay. So here we are under pet supplies, food treats, apparels, and, and accessories. One thing that you could do to start making money is incorporate sports with your pets. One thing that pet people and sport people love is to dress their dog up in sport apparel. Um, ever, if you've ever seen, or if you've ever um, been to a, like a, a tailgate or a cookout or whatever, you'll see a pet dressed up as a football player. That's one way that you could potentially start making money because people are gonna see that and they're gonna think it's cute and they're going to wanna buy that. But here we are, at some of the best-selling dog apparel and accessories. What we can do is, let's just go ahead and pick one here. What I recommend is trying to find products that are above $50. Anything less than $50 is gonna be difficult to start making very good money. Uh, let's do cold weather coats, because again, dog people love to do this type of stuff. And we're just going to click on this outward bound, outward hound, excuse me, Dawson Dog Life Jacket. So we're gonna click on that, and if you have SiteStripe installed, you can go up and you can get your affiliate link. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to either click on text and copy this link and put it right into our post. We can also click on image and get an image that we can put in, in our post, or we can get a text and an image for whatever reason. All right, here we go. So I am going to 
I'm going to copy this, copy this right here, and then I'm going to put it right in our post so that you can see exactly what it is I am talking about. So I post that there. Actually, that's not going to work because that's HTML. Uh, let's see. Let's go back over here. Where are we? Where are we? Are we? Uh, let's see. That generates HTML. Let's go back and do image. <laughs> it does not give us the option. It used to give us the option to do um, either one. But what you can do here is you can do a text image. We're going to copy this link here. We'll copy this. We will get rid of the previous. We'll get rid of this. And we can paste this in. And this is going to take us, if someone clicks on the link, it'll take them to that product or service. Now, what I recommend, because someone's going to come in and say, Amazon pays such low commissions, why would you even bother? What I would recommend is I would recommend pe sending people to a landing page to start collecting their email addresses. Now, the reason you want to collect their email addresses is so that you can retarget them for multiple products and services. Also, we know that most people don't buy right away. So if you are collecting email addresses, at the very least, you can follow up with them and add additional value. Maybe you have a blog that you started and you want to add additional content. You want to give them additional content. You can set that up and send that to them for relatively cheap, relatively inexpensive. So what I recommend is instead of just sending them directly to an affiliate offer or to this product here, where it's a very low converting rate, I recommend that you actually collect their email address, send them to a, a, an affiliate, or excuse me, send them to a landing page where you collect their email address, and then you can follow up with them every single day or as often as you want. But basically you just, let me just send this, I'll post it here. And as you can see, if I refresh my screen, you'll see what's going on here. You will see, come on, come on, come on. You will see, get impatient when it comes to the internet. You will see eventually, my computer is working very hard right now. Uh, let's jump over to, here we go. So you'll see this, and when people click on it, or your, your traffic, your customers will see this. When they click on it, they'll go to the affiliate offer. Now, again, when you post affiliate links, anytime you post a link on social media and you're trying to take people off of that platform onto another platform, they are going to suppress that content with the exception of maybe Pinterest because they actually have it set up to send people away. YouTube isn't as bad, but when you're looking, thinking about Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram doesn't really care because it doesn't really apply, but these Facebook in particular is very finicky about sending people away. So if you guys have any questions, definitely leave them below either in the uh, live chat or in the replay. If you're watching the replay, comment down below if you have any questions, but basically you just rinse and repeat. You do it over and over again. And if you just post a couple times per day, maybe once in the morning, once at night, you will start to get traffic. Now remember the 80, 20 rule, 80% value, 20% an affiliate link or a landing page. So if we're doing the math on that and you're posting two or three times per week or two or three times per day, by the end of the week, you should have at most one or two affiliate links. But if you're building a following, you're building a tribe, you can get millions of people to your affiliate offer or your landing page to start making money. And what you could do is you could actually put your a web page. Let's say you have a, a website. You can add your website here if you wanted to. There's a number of things that you can do to start making money and monetize it with this. But this is a very easy way to start making money online. It's very, um, very passive. If you schedule it out, uh, you schedule it out a week at a time, you can start making money with no problem. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell notification. Also, as I mentioned, check out that free ebook at alstongodbolt.com forward slash free hyphen ebook. And again, if you want to know how I start generating passive income every single day, click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.